What is up guys? We're back at it again with another Projects 815 video for you. Again on the Mini Jeep. Today we've got a special video for you guys. We are heading over to the Tools in Action shop and they're going to help us with this plow install. We're going to be getting the, uh, the new plow installed up on the Mini Jeep along with the winch. Get it all wired up, welded up. And uh, it's going to be an exciting video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. We're gonna head over to the Tools in Action Shop. All right, you guys, today on Projects 815, it's the most exciting video you've ever done. This is gonna go viral, why? Because this big guy's getting on this little Jeep, and he's gonna roll off the trailer, and we're gonna have some damage, and some people are gonna get hurt. Let's do it. Plow is inside. We're getting ready to get going on this build here. We're going to be installing the Colpin plow. It's called the Switchblade. This thing is awesome. Can't wait to push some snow with it. We'll get it. I don't want to dig into the bumper, but we got to cut across. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to rack up the Jeep. We're going to get it off the ground so we have better access to weld up. So. All right, guys, so here's where we're at. We got her up on the lift. We're gonna weld this bracket for the winch on here. And I'm happy as hell because the actual front bumper fits between here and we're still able to bolt the winch on. I thought I was gonna have to bolt the whole assembly, or excuse me, weld the whole assembly on here which I was not looking forward to, but I'm very happy that I can unbolt it, bolt it on if I need to. Underneath the Jeep here. So, looking at this, I was originally going to weld up some brackets up underneath here, but the Colpin kit actually comes with universal brackets, and I discovered that you could actually bolt these on. So, that's what we're going to end up doing here. So, I'm going to try it out, see if it works out for us.
All right, guys, so here's where we're at right now. I got the two small brackets mounted up here. Looks like it's um, on one of the frame sections here that attaches the steering rack here. It's welded to it. Um, it's an actual structural frame piece, so should hold up pretty well. Um, and then the kit that Culpin supplies you, Universal, um, comes with this bracket as well. This is what the actual plow mounts to. So we are uh, getting ready to bolt that up now. So let's see how. Uh... Right, don't want it too tight. I'll still be able to slide it around a little bit, kind of where my center is. Again, another huge thanks to Tools in Action for allowing me to use his shop, his lift, all his tools. Dan, Eric, thank you so much. You guys are rock stars. All right. I'm just shortening up the wires for the winch. Doing it right. All right, guys, we are all done. Plow is installed, operates. It went together very well. All the wiring was pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Wired right to the battery. Um, the plow mount itself, if I can get a good shot of it. Everything works perfect. Doesn't hit the exhaust at all. Where's the paper? Where's the paper? Yeah. Where's the paper? Where's the paper? It works awesome. All right, guys. So that's gonna wrap up today's video with the Jeep build. It was awesome. We got the plow installed today. We got the winch put on there. And I could not have done it without Dan helping me out today, with his, especially with his shop, all his tools. You're a rock star, yeah. dude. I could not have done it without you. Thanks, man. Thanks. That's not a uh, I'll just tell you guys right now, it's gonna last one storm and the bumper's just gonna fall off. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, I think we did a good job. It was alright. We did a lot of welding and stuff like that. It's holding up decently. So, yeah. We'll we'll see. We'll see when it comes to the uh, the first storm we get when I hit that first boulder or something. It is cool though. It's pretty cool. If it falls off, then we just weld it back on and do it all over again. So. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for commenting and subscribing. We'll see you later.